Hello, Scorpio viewers. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back now. And I'm still doing private readings. So if you'd like a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. That email is below in the description box. But let's get right into it. So whatever the cards want to say, whatever message comes out. Let's see here. Four of Wands, Page of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, The Hermit Reversed, The Two of Swords, The Nine of Cups Reversed, The Ace of Swords, Okay, I see someone getting out of hermit mode because I feel like for a while, and this could either be you or your person, but I feel like it ties back into the reading I did a couple weeks ago where I was getting that someone was trying to steal your, your divine birthright and your spirit guides were intervening to protect you. It was someone who was jealous, somebody that didn't understand. It, it could be like a partner they wanted to steal from you or money or abundance. It's like they just wanted to steal something that was yours. It could be like a false friend as well. It just thought like, why does this person have all this abundance coming in? And, and you know, I've worked just as hard as they have and I, I don't have that abundance. Like why, why them and not me basically? And I feel like this is kind of tying into that reading where I think you're going to start getting clarity about who that person is and about the things that have been holding you back because I feel like you know for a while I feel like you wanted to stay in your comfort zone with the four of wands this is like peace stability it's almost like um I don't want to say you didn't want to do the shadow work but it's, it's almost like maybe you didn't maybe you didn't know how to do the shadow work or you didn't know what was blocking you you just felt like there was something now this could be in your love life this could be financially this could be in multiple areas of your life just in general I feel like you didn't understand what was blocking you you know what I mean like you felt like you had done so much healing work and I think that you have you know you have done a lot of healing work but I think you know like your love life still wasn't manifesting or money still wasn't manifesting there was this abundance that just still wasn't manifesting and you just you didn't know what you were doing wrong because you you know and I think some of you it's like you didn't I don't want to say you were like avoidant necessarily I wouldn't say I wouldn't go as far as saying avoidant but I feel like Maybe the healing was surface level or it's like with the four of wands, it's like you were just trying to hold on to that peace and stability. But I almost feel it almost feels like a slingshot where I think you took a period of rest and now you're getting back out there like you're putting yourself out there again. So this could be one of those situations where like maybe you're single and you don't understand why you haven't found love, but like you, you're not really like putting yourself in situations to meet new people. You know what I mean? Like you're not joining dating apps. You're not really going out. You're just kind of at home all the time. Or it could be like a situation with money where it's like you're getting financially stressed, but you're working the same job that's not really going anywhere. And I'm sorry, this is a harsh reading. Just don't shoot the messenger. I'm just, this is what I'm channeling. This is what's coming through. Um, if this is your energy group, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. You know, I will be posting other readings. So if this one isn't for you, you know, you can always check back. Um, I also recommend checking your, your Venus sign. So... For, so for love readings, if you're looking for a love reading, I also I recommend uh, checking, you know, finding out what your Venus sign is and looking for those readings as well, because that might resonate with you. But anyway, and we might get into love. We're going to see what the cards say, but this is just what's coming out so far. Um, anyway, it's like you were holding on to that stability. You're holding on to that that peace. You just, you know, you, you were trying to manifest things, but it seems like things were kind of stagnant. But I feel like you're coming out of that stagnation. You're coming out of this period of rest, maybe a period of isolation. You're putting yourself back out there again. With the Four of Pentacles here too, I feel like, you know, that's kind of like being guarded, being a little bit emotionally guarded. But I feel like you're letting those defenses down. I think that you're recognizing where, um, where you might, and I'm not saying it's not other people that have, you know, cause these issues or other situations like if you have a hard if you have a rough job that is stressful but it does feel like you're taking a responsibility for yourself like you're seeing 
where you went wrong. You're seeing where you were too guarded. You're seeing, you're finally finding out where the blocks are. If you haven't found out yet, I feel like this clarity is coming in quickly where you're going to recognize, you know, where you were blocking yourself from love, maybe by not going out enough or maybe by continuing patterns with the same type of toxic person. Um, or if, if it's money, maybe like not applying to new jobs and maybe having like a certain mentality, like, like a money doesn't grow on trees mentality, like, you know, money is hard to come by. And I think now you're, it's, it's a beautiful energy because it's like your mind is opening up and you're recognizing that, you know, money is an energy. You can, you can align with that energy of money, love, abundance, you, you know, you can make the world your oyster pretty much. Um, you know, you can align with that with money, you know, money can come from multiple sources that you would just not even expect, you know, money is an energy. And I think that you're recognizing this now. I think that you're, you know, Ace of Pentacles, you have a new start. So for a lot of you, this could be a new start with like career or a new project. Um, this could be, I'm hearing music for somebody. Maybe you've been guided to like do singing lessons or like play guitar or play an instrument or do something creative like artwork. But I feel like around this time, you might be guided to like, you know, clean your house, uh, like making room for new energy, um, starting new projects, uh, getting getting really serious about your hobbies and passions, maybe going back to school for some of you or just starting like a new job, like applying, applying at new places. It's like you're coming out of this period of like rest and isolation and recovery and you're putting yourself back out there, be it for money, for career, for hobbies, for love, maybe all of the above. You know, you're coming out of hermit mode. You're not wanting to be in hermit mode. And I feel like you have one final block to get through, but I feel like you are going to be getting through it. Um, I would say sooner than later. I would, I would say, you know, for a lot of you, I feel like over the next couple of weeks, um, but for some of you, I feel like, you know, over the next like month or two, like, I don't think it's going to take, I don't feel like it's going to take long because I feel like you're going to start having these epiphanies about where you've been blocked and what's been holding you back. So with the two of swords, it's almost like you've been at that stalemate, but now, now you're, you're taking accountability and you're looking at it, which is a really beautiful thing. Like, I feel like you're coming out of that eight of swords energy where in the past you might have just been like, you know, life is just hard, life is just complicated, like love just isn't for me or I'm just never going to be able to manifest money. And now you're looking, you're seeing where the blocks are. You're seeing that you can actually have what you want if you, you know, if you apply yourself, if you remove these blocks and you align with that energy. So, you know, you're going, you're, you're leveling up. It's, it's a really good energy. You're coming out of Eight of Swords energy. Um, and with the Nine of Cups reverse, so like Nine of Cups upright is is basically talking about, um, you know, dreams being granted, like, you know, wishes being fulfilled. Reverse, though, and with this, this Two of Swords, like a stalemate, kind of like doing some deep digging, like figuring out the truth. It's like you're you're doing the soul searching to think, okay, wait a minute, why are my dreams not manifesting? Like what's holding me back? And you're going to find out Ace of Swords, clarity, communication, um, truth. I see that like I'm drawn to like this light on her in her third eye too. So I feel like for some of you, male or female, I feel like your third eye is also going to be opening up a lot. You might start channeling more. You might start, you know, pay attention to your dreams around this time. I feel like you might start having psychic dreams. You might also just have dreams that are about like healing and kind of pointing to where the blocks are. For some, I'm feeling like there's past life blocks that are clearing up as well. For some of you, I also want to say... I'm getting something about the root chakra. So it's going to be different for, for every one of you. Like some of you have like one or two little blocks that you're about to become aware of. Some of you have much bigger blocks. Some of you have multiple blocks. Like, but either way, these things, the subconscious is becoming conscious. You know, these, these things are coming to light so that you can clear them and have everything that you want in life. So it's a really good energy. But for, for a few of you, at least I'm being drawn to the root chakra. So the root chakra is connected to your ability to, you know, manifest things in the physical world. And I feel like some of you might have um, like an unbalanced root chakra that needs to be cleared and empowered. Um, for others, I actually feel like there might be past life blocks as well, where this might have been past life karma. Like you might have had some kind of past life cycle where 
maybe you were in um, financial debt because of what you like, let's say, for example, because because karma typically carries from lifetime after, you know, lifetime to lifetime. It's it's not I mean, yeah, every once in a while, you know, there's divine intervention and someone will get their karma, you know, early on like within a year or so of, of doing something that they shouldn't have done. But a lot of times it, it carries on from lifetime to lifetime. Like, so let's say, for example, you bullied homeless people in your past life. Not that you did that, but like, let's say that somebody did do that. In their next life, they most likely would end up being homeless. And it's, it's not like the universe punishing them. It's just the universe showing them what that feels like to be homeless, how, how stressful, how depressing that is. So that they can have empathy for, you know, for homeless people. So it's it's all about growth. It's all about being a more empathetic person, about, you know, opening yourself up. It's not like the universe is like angry and trying to punish you. They're just trying to get you, in that scenario, it's like they're trying to get you to open your mind up and see multiple perspectives and see what, you know, the issues that homeless people struggle with. And for some of you, I feel like it's a situation like that where maybe you stole from people in a past life, like maybe you were a thief or you, whatever it might have been, and you might have dealt with some financial struggles in this life because of it. Or maybe in a past life, you might have um, been in a lot of like third party situations where you broke up married couples and you didn't, you know, you made it, maybe you did it for money or you did it for lust, but you didn't actually truly love the person you know, things like that in like past lives that might have carried on this lifetime. So you might have had some karma to clear, but it looks like that karma is being cleared out. So the road is going to be open for you to manifest, you know, money, love, whatever you want. You have, yeah, it's a beautiful energy. You have this clarity and communication for coming in. But like I said, for all of you, it's not, it's, it's, it's going to be different for everybody. For some, it's past life karma. Um, for some, it's like a root chakra block or other chakras. For some, it's just a way of thinking that's been kind of blocking you or just, you know, not putting yourself out there um, when it comes to love or not applying to new jobs. Whatever it is, though, I feel like you're going to have this awareness coming in. And like I said, it could be multiple things as well, multiple issues that need to be cleared. Seven of Wands, the Tower. Nine of Swords. Yeah, this tower had to crumble. I feel like it's either already crumbled or it's it's about to, but it's not a bad thing. I feel like it's I feel like with the Seven of Wands, it's like you were standing your ground, you were very defensive. I feel like you almost felt like the universe was against you. I feel like you almost felt like the universe just didn't want, like your spirit guides just didn't care about you or they were just using you for the benefit of other people or they just, you know, didn't want you to have love or they just didn't want you to have money. Like you didn't understand what was happening. You're like, why, why am I going through this? Like, why, why me? You know what I mean? And for others, I almost feel like that block was... Because in the last reading, I was getting that there was somebody who wanted to steal your birthright. It's like you have a lot of good karma coming in. I feel like you've paid off a lot of your karmic debt. I feel like you're coming to that. You, you've, pay, you've paid off some karmic debt, and I feel like you're almost to the end of that cycle where you've paid off a certain karmic debt when it comes to like money or love. Like the lesson's been learned. You've paid the karmic debt. You're, you're going to be free to finally manifest whatever you want or you're going to be like you know recognizing what these issues are basically to clear the path um road opening work would be really good for you right now if, if for those of you that are witches i think road opening spells would be really good like uncrossing and road opening for sure but um anyway for others i do feel like this is kind of tying into that last reading where i felt like somebody wanted to um basically steal your divine birthright, whether that was, you know, fame, success, money, love, you know, je being jealous of your person. And I feel like for some of you, that's the karmic cycle that's ending. Like, you might have been struggling with this person. And I feel like this person may be close to just finally giving up and just, you know, not trying to sabotage you anymore. I feel like that's like you've paid the karmic debt, like maybe you had past life karma with this person where you kind of screwed screwed them over and you were jealous of them in the past life and then in this life it's like they kind of it's like you guys 
they just, just didn't resonate with each other this lifetime either. You know what I mean? Like there was something, even if you were friends, it was like there was something about them that just felt off to you, like something you just didn't trust. You know what I mean? And so I feel like maybe that karma has been balanced. So this person might be leaving your life now because it's like you've, and it's someone that you would want to leave your life. Like, I don't think this is somebody that you'd want to hold on to. This was like a frenemy type. Um, if you're new to this, if you're, if this is the first time you're seeing me, I would go back and look at that reading I posted a couple weeks ago too, because it, it kind of ties in for a lot of you. But anyway, I think for a long time, a lot of you were very uh, defensive, you know, and you felt like the universe was just, you know, you weren't manifesting what you want, or if it was with like with this person that was sabotaging you, you're like, why is like, why is this happening to me? Like, why am I having to deal with it? But you know, that past life karma is clearing, you've paid that karmic debt. And the tower moment, it's like, something had to crumble. Um, and I think your spirit guides are basically saying like, hey, like, we weren't punishing you. We were not trying to keep love from you. We were not trying to keep money from you. We were not trying to keep abundance from you. We want you to have these things like we want you to have a long term, stable, healthy relationship. We want you to have a best friend that doesn't screw you over. We want you to have a successful job that you, you know, that you want to do that, that feel, resonates with you on a soul level. Like they, they want you to have all these good things, but this old foundation had to crumble. You know what I mean? Like this, this karmic debt had to be paid. These lessons had to be learned. And with the tower coming down, it's like, this might be causing you a lot of anxiety and stress and confusion, but honestly, it's a beautiful thing because this is what cleared the way for you to manifest Page of Pentacles. I'm always drawn to see how this character is like manifesting something. Like you see how, she, how he or she is just focused on this bright light. Like this is, this is you. This is you manifesting, um, be it, you know, love, money, uh, your hobbies, pursuing your hobbies and passions finally, getting excited about life again all these things it's like you see how it's it's like you're focused on making the world your oyster you're focused on the things that you're passionate about the things that you truly love that resonate with you resonate with who you are on a soul level you know so I think you're going to look back like if you're going through this period of like anxiety and like why is this happening why is everything falling apart you're going to look back and you're going to be like oh like I see the lesson or I, I see how that past life karma was cleared. I, I see why that needed to happen to get me to where I'm at. And it could be a st stressful situation that like, I, I'm almost getting like the butterfly effect kind of energy. Like it might be one of those, you're going to start noticing the synchronicities a lot, I think too. And it might be one of the stressful situations. Like, let's say you get in an argument with your boss and then you're having anxiety and you're like, why is this happening to me? But then it, it triggers you to go out and apply to new jobs. And then you, you, I don't know why I'm hearing, you know, you meet someone, maybe, maybe some of you will meet somebody or maybe some of you will meet somebody that connects you to this new job. But anyway, but, but then it's like that ar argument with your boss, like triggers you to go to apply to new jobs and you find a job that resonates with you. So it's like right now in the middle of the storm, it feels heavy. It feels, you know, you, it, everything feels unclear, but with the page of pentacles, it's like, you're, you're going to look back and you're going to see why that needed to happen for everything to fall into place to um to manifest you know what you want you're gonna you're gonna be coming in, into this out of this anxiety and into this energy faster than you realize yeah with the queen of swords too and the high priestess it's it's like you're you know logical smart grounded the high priestess too is very intuitive but i both these both these energies kind of keep they they keep they keep they don't I want I wouldn't say they're withdrawn I I don't know if withdrawn is the right word they keep their hand to themselves basically they kind of move in secret so this might also be telling some of you if you're planning you know a, a like a vacation or like a new job um new, some kind of new energy to be careful of the people around you don't you know, kind of work in silence right now. Make sure you're not, because with that front of me energy, it makes sense. It's like, you don't want to tell somebody all the good news too soon. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to talk about those things to people who are going to try to sabotage you and send you the evil eye. So it's kind of like working in secret, like maybe even um, like journaling and writing your thoughts down and writing down a plan of action, like getting serious about your goals and your passions and like writing down, um, 
you know, you can write down like a to-do list, like whether it's for cleaning your house or whether it's for, you know, hobbies, be like, just write down some goals, be like, okay, I want to go to the gym twice a week, or I want to, um, like find a balance basically, you know, put it on paper so that you see it, but keep it to yourself is kind of what I, what I'm saying is, is, you know, the cards are saying, you know, you're intuitive, you're logical, you're grounded, keep that balance, keep it to yourself and be safe. Yeah. And you're going to move forward. The sun, the five of pentacles, why is the five of pentacles here? King of cups, the fool. Yeah. I feel like you're moving past that anxiety and that poverty with the sun. It's like, I feel like it's also being illuminated. Like you're also seeing where this anxiety is coming from, where, you know, kind of just what the cards were. They're, they're kind of just reiterating what they were saying earlier, where you're going to have clarity about what's been blocking you. King of Cups, the Fool. I also feel like you have a new start with love with the King of Cups here. Page of Cups, you might have a love offer. And this could be a third party that was trying to block you that's being cleared away. And so you're actually going to be able to be with this person now because they're going to be in a king of cups energy. Maybe they were in like more of a king of swords energy and now they're coming into like the king of cups. So you have this new start. You have, um, or if you're not seeing anybody, this could just be you going out and meeting people. You know what I mean? Like you're recognizing these patterns and like, wait, if I want to meet somebody, I can't just do that at home, you know what I mean? Like I got to go out and I got to put myself out there. I got to open myself to, to new experiences, to, to new people. I got to change my perspective, open my mind up. Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, Angel de la Nude, the Empress, Six of Wands, Justice. Okay. I feel like this I feel like there's a couple different messages here. For some you're going to get a love offer but you're not going to be sure about it, you're not going to trust it, and you're going to be guided to just go with your your intuition and know that you don't have to settle basically. Like you have justice on your side. So, if you don't want this, you don't have to take it. Um for others, I feel like you might be getting a message regarding why someone was blocked, eight of swords, like why they felt trapped, why they felt stagnant, like why they weren't coming forward. Um, they, they're going to want to make this connection public. They might be wanting to make this connection official. They're seeing you as the empress now. And you're having, either way, you have justice. Like, especially when it comes to love, you have some kind of justice coming in. Whatever was blocking you two from being together, it seems like, is being removed. But, you know, keep that, that energy in mind that I was talking about with the world being your oyster. For some of you, you don't want to take this back. For some of you, you're not going to, you're, you're, you're the one that's going to be an eight of swords for a few of you. You're the one that's going to be unsure about this. And, you know, your spirit guides are basically saying with, with the six of wands and justice here, it's like, it's like, let us know what you want. Let us know what kind of person you want. If you don't want this person back, like you can manifest somebody new, you know, it's, it's, there is no wrong choice here. It's, it's whatever resonates with you on a soul level. So anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, please like and share and, and subscribe. If this resonates with you, I'll do these readings regularly. Um, please comment too because it gets me back in the, the algorithm. It gets YouTube to promote my videos again. So it really helps me a lot when you guys engage, even if it's just a heart comment below. So I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching.